Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm Joseph Miller and today we're going to be back in the Arkansas River for a little more prospecting. Today we're not looking for gold, although I have a gold pan here. I'm looking for tiny gems that are hidden in the sand here and I've already proven that they're here and so today I want to go out and show you how to find some and come along for the ride as we see what all we can find here in the sand. It's a beautiful December day out here on the river, but it is pretty windy, so I'm not sure how the audio is going to be on this video. It might be a little bit crackly, I apologize, so I might not be able to film on the wind here too much. All right, so kind of the first step in looking for gold on uh, gold or gem, in this case, on a river like the Arkansas River, uh, it's very sandy, is to look for the inside of a large bend, right after a bend. Um, what we're looking for here is placer deposits. Uh, rather than hard rock, um, gold or gems, we're looking for uh, plaster deposits, which are just layers in the sand where the heavier um, minerals have accumulated. And so for us here, that's probably going to be on the inside of this large bend right in here. And then what we're going to try to do is dig down a little bit and expose those layers of darker minerals in the sand. and collect those, screen them, pan them, and we should get ourselves a whole load of black sand. And in that black sand, there should be tiny gems and maybe even a few flecks of gold if we're lucky. So that's our mission for today. I want to get down here. I've already picked out a spot and we'll start digging, see what we can find. I feel pretty confident we'll find some black sand at least, and then I'll show you some footage I got a couple weeks ago of that sand under a microscope and have a look at the incredible mix of gems that are in there. So. Wish me luck. I'm gonna get set up here and get started digging. Alrighty, I'm gonna start my prospecting by just digging a little trench here, seeing if I can locate some darker layers in the sand here. Right in there is that darker layer that I'm talking about, and it can be a lot more pronounced than that, but we'll go ahead and get started today by digging a little bit of that out, throwing it in our classifier, and then throwing it in the pan and we'll see what we get. So you might be wondering how I know that there are gems in 
River and panned out a few pans on a really productive sandbar, got a whole ton of black sand. And a lot of us have hypothesized for quite a while that in this black sand here there should be small gems that have washed down from the Rockies. And indeed, there are. So I took them back to school and used my school's fancy microscope um, to look at it, and it was full of gems. John's heard a clip of that right now. Okay, I wasn't planning to do a video here, but I am looking at some Arkansas River, River pannings under the microscope here, and it is a like completely mind-blowing thing. It looks like black sand that I panned out, but under the microscope it is a cornucopia of gems. There are bright pink, bright red, bright orange garnets, um, tons of really bright green peridot, it appears. Uh, there's even pretty bright blue um, gemstones, which may be sapphires. Um, perhaps these are all color variations of garnets as well. It's possible, and I don't really have a good way of telling, but it's fascinating. I wish I could show you what I'm seeing through the microscope because it is truly incredible. Not really what I expected from Arkansas River Gravel, but it's what I've been predicting all along. And so it's really gratifying to see that there are actually tons and tons of gemstones here. Um, literally microscopic. They're, it's very fine sand, but still under the microscope it looks amazing. And I'm pretty excited, so hopefully you can get some footage of that. So I can't really show you without having it under a microscope, but again, that black sand coming from the inside vents here of the river is loaded with tiny gems. I can see garnet and peridot in here already. There's probably other ones as well. And this is really exciting because while these are really small, it means that there are likely larger gems here as well. It just takes time and patience to find them. So this is really exciting, I think. Alrighty, I wasn't actually finding too much there panning, so I decided to move on, let my fingers thaw out a little bit. Doing a little bit of hunting for agates and other gems here, and just spotted my favorite gemstone to find here on the Ark River, so let me show you. Can you spot it? Right there. That is a gem quality smoky quartz crystal. I found a, a number of these, they're not very common, but really beautiful.
do love finding them. Alrighty, let's pick it up here. Just a brilliant little gemstone. Perfect gem clarity. I love finding these because these are our only true large, like clear gemstones. These would look amazing faceted. Um, this is probably about the fifth or sixth one I've found by now. So they're not super rare, but they are quite uncommon. And it's always makes, always makes your day when you find one. Just a little shot of it wet there. Just brilliant. Love these. Alrighty, great start. Look around for a few more agates here and see what else I find. Then get back to panning here at some point. Rosebud agate. Pretty bright pinks on this one. Cool stone though, hardly worth keeping. Here's a potentially interesting find, which I'm not sure. I'll take it out on camera just in case. Once again, I do not have a pry bar with me. to be some sort of plume agate, which is unique. Hmm, interesting. I might keep it and cut it and see what happens, but it doesn't look like anything too crazy just yet, so we'll see. Okay, just found something that may be very interesting or maybe nothing. I can't quite tell. Um, but I'll show it to you here. Right here we've got probably an agate. Just have a little bit of banding, but I can't quite tell. It'd be a pretty decent fast agate though. Hmm. Let me go wash it off and then we'll look at it again. Okay, it's a little bit hard to tell on this one, but it's more of a banded shirt, I think, than an agate. some agate features and some banding, but nothing too crazy. So, not a, not a sweet ghost agate like I hoped, unfortunately, but I didn't really expect to find an entire goose egg in this one, but it's a pretty, pretty chunky breakfast right there. microscopic gems so far that we found. There are probably bigger ones, uh, but even if there aren't, it's just really exciting because we hypothesized, I hypothesized, that there should be these gems here, and I spent some time looking, and actually a couple of my friends uh, down in southern Kansas ended up finding these small gems first, but I persevered, I found what I was looking for, and the variety that's here is really quite, quite impressive. You wouldn't expect that you'd be able to find garnet and topaz and peridot and sapphire in central Kansas on the river. Now it's true, of course, they're not worth much because they're so small, but they're still here nonetheless. It's really exciting and fun to look for them and prospect for them. Got a very full pan of black sand there. Again, really nice pan of black sand. 
That black sand is loaded with little tiny gems if you get it under a microscope. They're pretty hard to see with the naked eye, but they are there. So if you too would like to get out on the Arkansas River and do a little prospecting for gems, hopefully this video helped. I'm glad I could just finally prove that they do exist here and that they are where I thought they would be. Just take some patience and learning how to do it to find them. So hopefully this helped on that front. It was really great for me to get out another day on the river and find some cool agates and a few little tiny gems like that. Um, I'll be back out a few more times this winter, hopefully. And I have a bunch of other exciting videos coming up in the future. So if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Follow along for more adventures as I continue to look for gems here in the great state of Kansas, as well as elsewhere. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. The real highlight of today, though, is these tacos. Which are amazing. Shout out to tiny little Mexican restaurants in the corner. Fantastic food.